today we're going to talk about light caps from 100 Concepts. More than talk about the product, I want to talk about why. I want to talk about why I decided that I'm going to use some. So let's get into it. Hey squad, thanks for checking in with us again. We really appreciate all of you. This is a lot of fun, but as I like to say, it's not as much fun without all of you. So thanks for being here. This video is not sponsored by 100 Concepts. So I saw light caps on Instagram a while ago, uh, seen them on YouTube, and initially definitely thought, cool guy gear, but didn't think it was gear that I needed. Not to say that John Lovell, Grand Thumb, amongst others, aren't folks that you should follow. I just didn't think it was gear that I needed. I didn't think it was necessary. I like some nice things, but I like things that make sense for my use. I don't like to spend too much. I like to spend the right amount on the quality and the function that I need. So why did I decide this was important. Well, I was up in New Hampshire, working through the woods, shooting some video of me working through the woods with a rifle up there. And when I was watching that video, as you're gonna see here, I noticed that one, I had a negligent discharge of my flashlight that I didn't even realize I had hit the button until I watched the video. I also, watching the video, realized how much the sunlight, which there wasn't that much of that day, was glinting off of both the flashlights that I had mounted on that rifle. And I thought about it and said, I would rather not be in a situation where someone wants to do me harm and I accidentally give up information as to where I am. Now this is gonna to apply to you differently depending on what you're set up for. You might be set up for home defense. You might have a rifle set up to go through the brush and through the woods. This isn't gonna to apply to everybody, but it might apply to you. Because if you have a defensive weapon that you may use to defend yourself or your family, and it has a flashlight on it, you may end up giving up some information about your location without ever meaning to. So that's why these are important. Just to make it clear for safety, this firearm is fully unloaded. There's no magazine. The chamber is empty. There is no ammunition. It's an empty firearm. So this firearm has a flashlight on the front. If I move the scope cap that's now on here out of the way, you'll see even here, just like in the video, there's some glinting going on or you could easily give away information by accidentally discharging your flashlight. So with a light cap in place, now if my flashlight is on, you can't see it. It's still on. But you can't see it. Likewise, even without the flashlight on, you're not going to get the glinting off of that lens that you would have. This hollow sun, it's a hollow sun 530, has a built-in anti-reflection device that does the same kind of thing. Now, if you have a red dot on your firearm and you're considering a light cap and you don't have an anti-reflection device, you may also consider that. 100 Concepts also has many models of anti-reflection devices for scopes, red dots, and other optics available on their website. Pretty cool stuff. So the idea is that now I definitively have control of when this emitter is going to emit light. And it's not hard to transition. It can be a little noisy if I'm not careful, but if I'm discreet with it, I can move it back and forth without making much noise at all. Now I can bump this button, not that I should, but I could and nobody's gonna know. 
So you might be asking, well, what comes with a light cap? What all is involved? Let's go over that. So in the package, which is nicely resealable, I always love a resealable package. You've got the light cap. Now light caps come in three different sizes. If you check out the 100 Concepts website, they have most common flashlights for weapon mounting listed with what size, small, medium, or large will fit it. They also have dimensional information as far as the minimum and maximum that will fit each size. So you could measure your own if you have an off-brand or somebody they haven't listed on their website so you know what size fits your flashlight. So you get the light cap. You're gonna get two pieces of shock cord, one in sort of a tan FDE, one in a black. And lastly, you're gonna get a rubber band. Let's talk about this. The idea of this rubber band is to go around the bezel and create a fulcrum, a pivot point for the shock cord. So when you flip the cap out of the way, it actuates to a place where you want it, but doesn't go hanging off loose or catching on brush or what have you. It keeps it in a stowed out of the way position when it's off of the lens versus on the lens. This rubber band doesn't quite fit my Streamlight HLX. So I used a zip tie, but if that's not your speed, 100 Concepts also has a bunch of collars on their website that can be used for mounting the shock cord for scope caps, as well as light caps. So if you would prefer something with a more refined or finished look than a zip tie, then maybe that's more your speed. They have a lot of solutions. They're pretty well thought out in their product. Just like two colors of shock cord, you know? It's not a big thing, but it's small details. And sometimes if you just got black, you might be a little disappointed depending on how your firearm is set up. For me, black worked just fine, but it's nice to have options. When it comes to mounting the light cap, we're gonna put the shock cord through a hard point so that it's captured. I ran mine in a crisscross pattern through the collar that I made with the zip tie. And then we come out the front. The last touch you're going to want to do, and I need to redo on this one, is you want to touch the ends of the shock cord with a little bit of heat from a lighter, just like you would with paracord to keep the ends from fraying. You can see I got a little bit of fraying on, going on there. I need to hit it with a little bit more heat just to keep it from fraying, unless you like the frayed look, I guess. So it's pretty simple to install. Really only takes a few minutes, but makes a very drastic difference in how you become less noticeable moving through brush or a structure. Let us know down below in the comments if you think this is a solution for a problem. Do you think that I've solved the problem or did I just buy into something that wasn't necessary? Check out the video. See how much light was coming off that lens, even when I wasn't hitting the switch. I think I solved the problem, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Do you have a different way that you solve it? Share that info with the community. If you don't use a light cap, what is it that you use to keep your lens surfaces on your firearm from showing off light that you don't intend to? Love to hear that. Let's share some information. Let's get a discussion going. Like I've said before, you guys are what make this so much fun and make it worth it. Every time you guys send us a DM with a question or a comment, you guys comment on a video, hit us with a like, it makes it so much worth it. So please subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, hit us with a like, leave some comments down below, let us know what your thoughts are. You guys are what makes this fun and make it worth it. We appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, get out there and live your liberty every day.